Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks, and I'm here at a company called Communication Technologies, which is kind of a common name, but they have their own brand of very, very small PCs. So this is a Rayjet Slimbox 4, that's the name of it. And this thing is basically a full PC based on an Ultrabook platform, actually. So they're using the Intel Core i3, i5, and i7 U-series CPUs right here uh, to put them in very, very small PC boxes, basically. So this, you can buy this as a bare bone uh, later on when they come to market. And you just throw in your own SSD and RAM, and you'll end up with a pretty powerful PC. Um, just looking at the spec sheet right here, you'll get a device that is basically uh, an Intel Core i3-4010U or the 45UU, uh, 4500U, or the 4600 Core i7 series. Um, they're ranging from 1.7 gigahertz maximum uh, frequency on the 4010, which is the base model, that's a dual core right there, um, going up to the 4600 chip that uh, clocks at 2.1 gigahertz standard frequency and on turbo boost it reaches up to 3.3 gigahertz and all of that in this box that is basically like two packs of cigarettes or uh, what, that, the reason why they're calling it a chocolate box is basically because it's not bigger than a box of uh, chocolate actually. Um, you get everything you need in a full PC basically except for an optical drive uh, so you end up with a device that is very powerful and still tiny. Uh, on the biggest platform they have on the 4600, uh, the whole system consumes about 25 watts maybe. And this one is actually actively cool, so they have a small fan in here that is supposed to be not really loud. They're saying it's not that loud. Um, let's just take a quick look around and I'll show you the other one back here, which is actually a uh, passively cooled system, so no noise at all, and using the same platform. Um, let's just take a quick look around this and then I'll show you the PCB they're using and after that we'll talk about the uh, passively cooled model right here. So on this side we start out with a USB 3.0 port, full size, that's a recess, reset button right there. And on this end you get a headset jack combined, headset jack for audio and mic. You have another USB 3 port right there, that's an Ethernet port actually integrated right there. Some mini HDMI and the external power supply connector for your 12 volt um, power box. On the other side, that's just the fan outlets right there, and that's pretty much it on this one. Um, you get pretty much the same connectivity on the passive, passively cooled one, I'll get to that in a second. And this is basically the PCB they're using. So you have the Core i7 in the middle right here on this one, and the connectors on that side. So it's basically just a tiny uh, mobile board adapted to be used in a small box. On this end, you get just a RAM socket right there, and a mini PCIe Express or MSATA connector on the other end right there. And this passively cooled box right here is actually connected, connected to a huge TV that's actually right next to me. And this thing gets really hot. I mean, like, it's putting out, this one is actually running on a standard 2.5 inch hard drive, so you can have up to whatever those two and a half inch hard drives actually give you. So I would guess up to around uh, one terabyte or more based on that platform. And again, you end up with a bunch of connectivity options. So you have two USB ports on this side. That's the indicator light for a battery. There's Wi-Fi integrated in this. That's a cool box four in this case. The power button is up here. And then on the other end, you get the power plug uh, jack right there. Mini HDMI again, Ethernet port, and another USB port plus the headset jack. So that's just been a quick look at the Rayjet Slimbox, which is this one, and the Coolbox that is actually really hot because it's a super awesome tiny PC in a very small casing right here. So I was rolling with Mobile Geeks checking out these kind of crazy desktop PCs that you can mount to your TV or use just as a regular desktop at Computex 2014. And if you like what we do here on the, at the show and on the channel, Subscribe to the channel, give us a like, and we'll see you later. Bye.